I know you be hating when I start trying because to do you shit. Got- <laughs> <laughs> she needs so good. I could feel it coming. She was like, um. <laughs> she needs so bad. Hey, guys. Um, welcome to yet another episode of Horrible Decisions. This is your girl, Mandy B, a.k.a. Pat the Stallion, a.k.a. Dead Bitch. Mm. And um, we, I am sitting with two people today, so I'm going to let them go ahead and introduce themselves. Should we even? Do you I have mean, an AK? Yeah, I do have an AK. Ooh, Let's go. go. Oh, easy. Go ahead. All right, y'all. This is Ryan Jamal Swain, better known as Damon on Pose, a.k.a. Petty Le Pew, a.k.a. Petty LaBelle, a.k.a. just... The neighbors know my name. That's it. Ooh, that you say that. that you say that. Mm. Right, so I, I do want to say, um, and, and Weezy and I even just had a meeting recently, and I know for a lot of you guys who listen, um, and I'm sure a lot of your fans are yeah. new to listening to Horrible Decisions, um, Horrible Decisions is a show, clearly, you're listening to us, yeah. and we focus on destigmatizing kinks for the black community, but it gets raunchy, so I don't know if you, you well, know, don't it. listen to us on a Sunday after church, um, <laughs> But um, I don't know. Why? Do you wanna, I, I mean, mean why I'm not here. I created my pussy. I mean, listen, oh my. okay. <laughs> oh. So as she said that to say, we've been talking about like re-strategizing and what are people's favorite episodes? What do we do that people love? And yeah. it's generally episodes with everyday people that are nasty. So we try not to bring like <laughs> famous it. people on. Got it. So when I met you, <laughs> I kind of famous. It. You, it. you said like something it. that I was like, oh, I got to have him on the show. I, I asked say? him about... He was talking about theater. And we started talking about slave play. And he looked at me and he goes, I want you to sit there and understand and feel how it feels, how you feel as a black woman to watch that happen and how black women are. I said, you know what? You need to come on horrible decisions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, absolutely. Okay, so should we talk about how we... I mean, we can. We should just talk about the last time. So basically, yeah, well, 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 we went to the last right. lap. And well, oh, because I was going to say, if y'all heard the episode a couple weeks ago, she done already brought up the, goddamn Mexico. I was I like, know. oh no, he's coming on the show. Oh, no, no, I, yeah, no, I, I thank for the shout out. No, it was just so funny. I, I love was, Ryan's energy. He's no, so fun. No, yeah, it's great. No, oh, we so have so much fun. I get into the last lap. He, no, no, no. I see someone else he's walking with. Yeah. I was like, oh, he cute. And then I saw Ryan and I'm like, oh, shit. <laughs> so I went, my that. dude, I said, I went, oh, babe. I'm like, oh, my God. I was like, you know my show I love. He's like, what show? I'm like, Pose. He's like, one of them gay niggas from Pose? <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I ain't gonna say nothing because like, I want people to enjoy their time. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Right. I was with my cousin. Yes, yes, oh, yes. Okay. Trevor. Trevor Jackson. So I go to the bathroom. Oh, his fine ass. Yes. Yeah, that's, oh, yeah. and that's um, Savoy's client. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. So I've been on, I've been I know Savoy ain't yes. shit. Yes, we been to, I, I've, Savoy is like, Trevor, I don't think he's ready for your show yet. I've already tried. Well, uh, his no, I, I, but I, but, but Trevor's been, beautiful. Yeah, yeah, yes. no, yeah. That's my cousin. Like, I'm blood just a cousin. family of beauty. Listen. <laughs> so, well, yes. I come back from the bathroom and I see my nigga on the floor looking under a bar. And I'm like, what the fuck is going on? He's like, Yo. oh, this dude lost his car. And I'm like, who? And I'm like, that nigga. <laughs> the so, famous one. Here go, here go Ryan, uh, motherfucking bougie ass. He's like, I don't know if you can find it, but it's Chase Private Client. <laughs> I hate it. Hell, y'all, y'all, you know what? I have been trying to figure out like my the the, the difference between like bougie and just outright just ridiculousness. And be on this spray? You, That's right, ridiculousness. No, no, we, oh no, we bougie is just we were, a spray bottle. Yeah, which is why we saw each other into the Right, that's why we did yes, we did. Fuck? The fuck. Like who's no. Villa? Yeah, no, girl, I, I lost my damn debit card. Shout out to private client, though. Thank y'all for having me. So, no, no shade. We keep <laughs> giving a shout out to fucking Chase Bank. <laughs> oh, no, well, he really did. I'm private client. And then fucking Obey talking about nigga me too. Fuck. <laughs> well, yeah, that is, it did. <laughs> well, I remember all of that. Oh, my God. Oh, yeah. And both of y'all are private clients. I need to know what happened to the Coke boat. Right. And why no one has brought it up the since, since Chase is your goddamn. Y'all don't know oh, about the goddamn time. They seized of Coke. the boat of Coke. And, now, Chase, and it was the, the Morgan. Guy Morgan. JP. Morgan. Yes, whatever. Uh-oh, uh-oh. It was that motherfucker's Drug broke. Money. No. And guess what? It's it disappeared. You. No what one you talked want. about it. Uh-huh. But you a private hey, client, so. I don't know nothing. Listen, you a private client. I don't know about nothing. Go, go ahead and go ahead. Oh. Go ahead and sniff okay, it. Let's figure it out. Right. You can't wipe a nigga. No. I don't know nothing. You know, that's how they chop. Well, anyway. So. <laughs> so I get to. We go to Mexico. I'm at Gitano. I go across the street. Yes. I'm like, oh, look, there's black people there. No bullshit. Because yeah. we were the only other black people there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> run into Brian. <laughs> we end up kicking it. So finally we go to this. Oh, no. No one wanted to stop partying. Yeah. So he was like, where All can we go? All my friends and left. Right. And, I, and I'm, I'm with I'm with the crew now. I'm like, okay, so where are we going? So we try to go down right. somewhere. Oh. And then it's closed. Oh, no. Let me explain. We walked down the street. We These are on a roads. very rural looking road. No, no lights. And so finally this guy goes in a taxi. If you want, I can take you to a Mexican party. 
I'm like, well, maybe we shouldn't. He's like, no, let's go. Y'all um, were that brave? Yes. Let's go. When they are chopping people up and shit. Oh, it was yeah, seven we, of yeah. us. It we was had to take two of them. Agreed. That was, means they have a... more meat to sell and more body parts. Uh-uh, no. I felt like we but were I, one of the I people. I felt that if I needed to, I could beat their ass. Like, you know, you just like, you do an observation. You like look around <laughs> and you're just like, okay. People. They small. They were small. This is what we're doing? This is a cultural Mexican. They're small. Can you speak to them? They Y'all are problematic. Listen, listen my, ex, my ex is from Mexico City, lives in Mexico Wait, City. Wait, are you Mexican, Eddie? Five years. No, oh, but I'm just saying, y'all I mean, are the same flavor. <laughs> you know, like... A mm, rose? Mm, mm, mm. I don't appreciate so this. So we get to this dingy-looking Mexican place, and let me tell you, it's Baby, it real... Was Caribe. It Caribe. was not Shout gentrified. Caribe at they, all. Oh, Caribe. Yeah. They got, you know, the buck, like, beers in the bucket and shit, so I'm like... <laughs> Now, the lights, that's air, that's right. the light. I've already asked Ryan to come on, so it should be semi-professional. I'm like, maybe I should ask him if he wants to like yeah, fucking no. yeah, find sure. weed. I don't know. So oh, that's like, so professional. We on holiday. Oh, professional. So, hey, we I want are. you to come on the show, but do you want weed while yeah, we're in a foreign go. country? Yeah. But, and also, you know. <laughs> it's holiday. So, we no, uh, let me preface. Have a new year. Ryan's hanging with fucking Laquan Smith. They're on there like, she, she. So I'm like, <laughs> maybe they don't want shitty, you know. So I'm like, listen, do you want? And he's like, oh my God, yes. I'm like, I'll bet you I'll find it. He's like, well, from where? I was like, give me a minute. I pull my titties out. Right, we Two found him. Two minutes later, I was looking for the Mexican plug. And again. <laughs> yeah, we did. We found him. Show sure did. Now, can I ask you real quick? Can y'all tell me what y'all think a Mexican plug looks like? Tall. Tall. Taller. Um, pre- preferably, Tall. preferably has like a red shirt or a, a jersey shirt. I like, that. like something that is like so Americanized that is like, wait. It's out of place. As a matter of fact, he had a white yeah, green hoodie on. He did. That's what. That's what we, we were just like, wait. So, okay, he okay. looked a little. Because, you know, we, we in Tulum. Like, it's like parties and then and dirt jungles. roads and jungles. That's it. And so when I was just like, wait, overly commercial, he got the bag. You know? Overly oh commercial. You know, like, that's what we, yeah. Bruh, yeah so shade. we were making an obvious weed drug deal in the corner. Of the, mind you, I already told my story <laughs> about the fake Molly that I bought. So now I'm like, this is even... <laughs> So we get to the bathroom, right? Oh God! And we're in this corner, and but he don't speak English, and neither. Oh, we don't speak Spanish. We don't speak Spanish. But I'm, 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 I'm like, cuando? I'm asking him just like, how much? I ain't going to tell you, yeah. going to tell you how I bad mean, they came for our Spanish a couple episodes ago. Oh, goodness. Pero, oh, menudo. Pero, good. Huh? Good. I'm glad. Uh-uh, don't. Uh-uh. <laughs> you mad about that? You mad? You should be on your roof. In serio? In serio? Bitch. In serio? Uh, <laughs> what's, the, what's the nigga of Spanish people? What do they say? I love it. Comprende? Chinga way, right? That's Mexican. You can say chinga, you can chinga. say way, you can say money, like you can money? say money. Uh, yeah. right? That's fuck. Coño is like fuck, yeah. But when, like, say, you, you, say, say, you my essay. You my nigga. My <laughs> nigga. <laughs> Why is the nigga with an accent on nigga. top of it? <laughs> they had like four A's oh, on there. That did happen. <laughs> oh, that's right. Nigga. So then nigga. We, start buy, we start buying weed with the help of another Mexican. <laughs> yes. So once we purchase our 30 Dolores weed, which he only had hundreds and had to ask for change. That's what I mean. Say, uh, Can I have a tip? No. Wait, yeah, he, he the, had the, the audacity. Weed man asked for a he tip? had the audacity. I Dang. said, "Isn't this an entrepreneurial?" <laughs> I don't but, understand. But, but but the part of the part no of the, taxes. But, Why do you but, but the tip? part of the story was that when we got in there, we went straight to the bar. The bartender is like taking pictures of us, like we celebrities. So I was like, wait, 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 where, where? Like, oh, I, yeah. yes, there was that. But then we went to the back and found our overly commercial. So but, wait, you know, the man blah. that was helping—I don't know if you remember this—the man that was helping us speak Spanish was like, well, I also too have. have yes, he also okay. too has the thing. The plug, got you, bruh. <laughs> now he's like, I'll help you. <laughs> Buy some for me. Now exactly. I got a collectible. Yeah, it was two of them, and we both and we both so here like trying to like, like the side We got this one. So finally, the club got so ta 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 in the ghetto. It really did. So we go. Oh, and no, and this is why I said we got bougie because. Right. No, like, well, no, let's but, you know, but your, your Spanish was on though. No shade. It was so good. Because it was she, really she be good. doing these accents. No, no it just sounds good, but she because not I make it sound like no, 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 she did so well. No, because no, because you were the mediator. She was the mediator do it, do for do the whole it. thing. Yeah, do I, it. I don't know. I don't know how to speak English. <laughs> but see, she be speaking English with an accent. Not very good looking, pero I need to buy. Oh, fab. So that's not Spanish. Come on. It's just English with a. Give me a second. Just give me a second. Okay, dope, dope, dope. So I was either drunk or I don't know. What was going on? But he I was like, wait, wait. Niggas, him in the con- well, we are staying at the art house and we're in your villa. I'm like, well, ours is here and one is here. So that we ended up quiet. going all back together, <laughs> spread with this terrible weed and everyone's smoking it and then saying how bad it is. Yeah. And smoking so much of this oregano that we're like, I think I'm getting hot. It's definitely yeah. grass. No, it was For definitely, sure grass. It, was, it was placebo down. For sure. I don't know if y'all seen. Um, placebo a couple, diversion. Well, a couple weeks ago, I think she was in Detroit. Summer Walker posted like literally oh. grass that she got. 
Someone sold her weed. She paid like over a hundred dollars or something like that, and it was literally like oregano and grass. No, swear to God. Can you find it? Do you know if if you can find? Look. Oh, she wow. literally posted that it. Like the that like seaweed chips. <laughs> I like seaweed. Yo, that's her fault, though, to be honest. That like, is. Bro, look at, bro, look look like at that. that. At in all. Miami? That shit, at all. In my jam. No, Miami. This shit look like cilantro, bitch. No, that's cilantro mixed with seaweed. <laughs> that's how you know um, you fucked chips. up in regular. Yeah, Come exactly. on. Out. Exactly. Oh, that's exactly so what it is. The last final thing that I remember, you may not, is mm. Ryan Red, <laughs> one of the men's that were in the house. So, do you remember? What do you mean you read? Oh, so there was oh, a you Spanish was really high. dude there. Oh, I was high, high. Because <laughs> yeah, I, was, I was ready. I, nobody was safe. Do we have alcohol? I don't yeah, we know. Had, we, had, we had a little bit of alcohol. The, I, all I know like is nobody could vodka. get out of the house. We had a little bit of water left. You know you can't drink the tap. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. it was like, well, we got to drink slow. Everybody sip yeah. wisely. Montezuma's yeah. revenge. So the Spanish like dude shit. is like, you know, one of my friends does not like, we interviewed him, Brandon. Mm-hmm. He does not like the N-word, honey. He's like, I don't like it. I'm not comfortable with it. And Brandon is black. Um, but he just doesn't like using it. A lot of black people that way. I read him. Not him. Okay, I was about to be like, A wait. Spanish dude in the house said he didn't like that. He's like, oh, he's always oh, checking me. Yes. But I'm black oh. too. And Ryan was like, wait, but he was Spanish? Mm. He was Dominican. And was to Dominican. be fair, he, he was. No, you know, because, you, know, you know, that the it, whole Dominican, that Haitian, is, like, that you is, know, he was divide, very clearly, that he's got black in him. Yeah. But he was saying, Brandon doesn't want me to say it because the African American experience is different with the word it nigga, is. which is it absolutely is. true. Absolutely. Um, and so he was like, but I'm also black, so I can say it. And Ryan goes, oh, and who told you that? <laughs> You know me, my <gasps> Howard University ass. They, they all, did. you know, they ta- they taught me not. We don't play that, you know, because it was like one of those things where, you know, I think what black people are doing is just like reaffirming and like taking ownership, like taking it back, taking the word back. The same way we do with hoe and slut. Yeah, yeah, yeah. On, on this like show. yeah. So and and bitch, like you know, when you say is the difference between bitch and whatever, you know, whatever skank, whatever, whatever. So it's just like for me, I was I was triggered. Yeah, I, but I would actually want Are you we to, ever going to get a clear a consensus bit. on how I want to know why because so my one of my best friends is Puerto Rican, um, and she just had a panel and yeah. she said nigga in front of a whole bunch of people and they recorded. And I was like, did you just say the n word on stage? And me and her get into that battle all the time. Yeah, when we're talking, I'm like, don't say the n word with me. Yeah, and so wh- did you did you further go into a read as to why you don't want? I think fan- I did. Yeah, I, I did. Oh, child. <laughs> You did oregano and grass. <laughs> you did. It was uncomfortable. Um, yeah, it was. Yeah, it was. No, it was uncomfortable. And I, then, I, and then Ryan's petty because I wasn't talking. He said, "How are you feeling, my light skin sis?" <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, because we got because we got into colorism too. Oh no, oh, wait, nah. he brought that up. Yeah, because I think somewhere along the line, he's like, "I'm dark enough to say it." Yeah, yeah, he said something like that. Then is I said, the Afro Latino bullshit. I don't yeah, like. Yeah, but 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 the thing about it is, is what's so funny to me, and also with the LGBTQIA plus community, when they're black and when the others are beige, is the fact that. Everybody wants to benefit off of the, the 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 struggles and the things that the people of color have done and don't want to really, really, they want to use all the slang but not know what it means to be, you know? And, right. I, and, I, and I found that that's what the conversation was with that gentleman, that young man. Um, yes, I remember okay, that. Okay, he, he was a lot, how old are you? I'm I'm 25. He was a lot younger? Yeah, he was, and, yeah, he was a lot and, younger. But, you know. And, and, and I will say, was asking questions, not not really feeling entitled, but sincerely like, I don't get it. Yeah, if, I don't get if it. If I yeah. have to be black to say this, and I am black, and I acknowledge I'm black, how come now I'm just Spanish? And and I think Latino, and I think yeah. also there was some type of divide between the whole because he was Dominican, and then we were trying to talk about like the the Haitian Revolution, the oh, Haitian I, moment, and that's and, what I talk about. Yeah, like they, and, they would shoot y'all if y'all no, said what, said the the so leader's name. Yeah. Main yeah. Thing. yeah, can Afro Latinos say nigga? Mm. I mean, we ain't that podcast. We, are we about to talk about sucking dick now? No, we don't, we don't skip I mean, it. I, I, but I mean, that's a serious question. I believe, I believe, I believe, I believe that you can. I just feel like it cannot be a, like. Oh. I know, now it's like, okay. So, See, it's hard. So, here's my thing. So we have You know why you're saying it that, like that? Because you know that it's either context and or yeah, and like, no, do you pick and choose when you want to be a nigga? It's like intention versus impact. Like, you saying you saying it just to be like, oh, I'm I'm here too. I'm with y'all too. Or like actually no. It's like the same thing between you go down the street as a person of color or a person from African American or whatever, and you walk down the street and you you um you know do the, like, what's, do, up. Do the yeah. what's up. And the African from Africa gonna be like, what in the hell is going on? It's like it's it's very much like that. Not all black. Yeah, not, black, all, not, not all black people. Yeah. We have the same colloquialisms and the man. You know those 
those things. So it was just for me, because his ass was coming from an entire place, I had to read him <laughs> first off. And then secondly, listen, I hate the, I, I don't like the word that much either, but right. I know that it's a it's when it's coming to me, it's a form of endearment. It was just like impact versus intention, I feel, you know. Impact like, versus impact intention. intention. I, I like that. that. Yeah. So vanilla shit is our <clears throat> segment where we talk vanilla about shit. sex in the suit news, which will, will be the most vanilla thing we talk about today. Now I, I see the headline. What was that? I heard I you saw, saw it. <laughs> I was like, oh, we get there. Okay. Let's go. I watched Sex Explained last night. There's 16 minute episodes. I have not watched it yet. Shout it out was, to Janelle. It was good. Oh, I know. I didn't know Janelle Monet. Uh, yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. I didn't know either, but until she was like blasting it everywhere it on was social like, media. I was like, oh. By the way, she fine. Yeah, yeah. no, down. So, down boots. I hope she don't hey. teeter in on that scale. Hey, Wait, are, are, are y'all friends? <laughs> yeah, we're good friends. Oh, hey, Janelle, if you're listening to your friend. <laughs> what's up, girl? What's up, girl? <laughs> what's up? What's, what's up, up Jane? Uh, so on Sex Explained, it started talking about attraction and how attraction has to do with our environment not the environment oh, culturally yes. but from the womb mm -hmm. one crazy thing that they said and i had to keep googling it because i was like i need to see this research is that gay men generally have more older brothers when they have brothers than straight men do okay because the chromosomes are basically left in the mother's womb and your body is used to being around i don't know if it's x wait, or y wait, say, bitch. That again. Listen, say that again them I'm now. <laughs> bottoms, Wait, have, intrigued. bottoms have more older brothers, according to science. Oh. Gay cisgender men tend to have more older brothers than straight cis, cis men, but the effect is particularly pronounced for bottoms. Um, <laughs> so basically, real quick, because we walked so into I, the studio and she goes to explaining this, and basically it's saying that because of the chromosomes that are left in the womb, yeah. that's your environment, and that oh, is where you yes, turn gay. You These parts of yeah, the like, you, 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 you baking in there. You baking in there. As, in as a gay boy. As, as a gay, so as a gay bottom. So the Y chromosome, gay boy, parts gay are left Got in it. the but womb. Work it out. You're baking there <laughs> with the chromosomes. You can't. <laughs> Now, if you had a lot of wine, that's when you come out liking glitter. Yeah, you come out like glitter. Just, you had a lot of wine, you just like, you know, you're Hold the on, they got a lot of big words. These fetuses, when they have a lot of Y chromosomes, cause an immunological reaction Ooh, immunological. in some mother. mother? Why can't you say word? This sounds like immunologic. Mother? Mother? Mother. 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 You know, mm. so think, it's not yeah. people that have older brothers, by the way. Okay. It's just the trend of gay men, uh, people that have older brothers, like as far as like gay, straight, cis, yeah, yeah, whoever. Yeah, yeah, they're yeah. just saying gay men generally have them more on average. Which is crazy else. because than to women, it, right. than gay women. I would, I would think it would be the other way around. The other way around. I, I would think it would be most men who grew up in a household of women. Uh, yeah. tend to be that way, right? Yeah, I, think I, I, that I mean, that's my experience. That, but also, gay is not... I believe we're born the way we are. I, I think believe that's, that too. Yeah, I believe same. some fluidity is learned. Sure. And you right. can grow, but I do believe if you're gay, you pretty much were born that way. Which, yeah. gay is science to me. It always has been. I think my mom you know, told me the same about shit. myself. You don't believe in what? We're not going to do that. Yeah, let's do it. I mean, not... Long story. Long story. We're not going to get it to... No, 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 no. But I believe, you know, I... You grew up around women that don't make you fucking gay. You could become a provider. Yeah, no, but but the thing about it for me, and I've been I've been always about this train is like sexual fluidity, right? I just always have been about that. And I feel like that we're moving towards that more so than anything. Like for me, I grew up with a bunch of women, like warrior women. So I respect them in a way that, you know, I'm not like primitively like attracted to them. However... There are a few that I'm like, oh, well. Two. If Name my, two. Two. Tessa Thompson, definitely. Yeah. Um, and, uh, ooh, ooh, I might get in trouble. <laughs> get in trouble. It's get like, that is going to be the clip we post to get social media. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's see. I mean. Oh, yeah, I do love her. I mean, I love her. And I just, I, lo I love Mine's that. Mine's Zoe Kravitz. But, Zoe's fine. Down. Zoe is fine. No, but it's like, I, okay, Tessa is a perfect example. I'm not going to give my second one. But like, in regards to like masculine and feminine energy, you know, I love that in anybody, period. So, yeah, she's she, and his and her husband is fine I just too. want her. Does her Rihanna husband. do it for you? And her daddy. Can I get her Rihanna husband does, daddy? But I, you know, uh, Rihanna more like, we got the same like birth chart, so we both we bought the same people. I feel like sometimes crazy. we can yeah. stand yeah, too yeah, much like for like a Beyonce or Rihanna to almost be sexualized. Like, I feel like, when I look at these women, I'm like, oh, this is some guy. I will definitely nah, I want Lenny. Him. I will definitely. Sure I mean, you know, St. John one. is my dark skin Lenny. No shade. Lenny. I want Lenny. Jesus. 
Okay, let can, can oh, you get him off the goddamn screen? We are recording a goddamn podcast. Why are you sitting there staring? October 11th. Oh, you're a Libra. I am. I, Wait, are we, and I don't believe in that shit either, but I just know Libras is the, <laughs> Libras is the shit. Mandy is that's such an asshole. No, I, no, I don't I believe love, in horse shows, but though. Libras are the best. But Libras are best. What? What? Shut the fuck up. Yo, the second we had an astrologist on, right, who bred us with natal charts everything. And you so, still didn't believe it. So no, Mandy was feeling it when she was like, you're confident, you're strong. She's like, right, right. And she was like, sometimes you need to take control. She's like, see, this is bullshit. <laughs> Y'all be making shit up. But also, I, I am confident. I have that. <laughs> yes, you say everything right, but it's bullshit. It, but, well, because it also Love got it. into like some houses and universes and Oh, yeah. Rising stars oh, yeah. and moons. Now, now that part, I am. It, 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 I'm so confused about the houses and like, the, like, the one through the twelve. I don't, I don't. Yeah, I'm trying to still get that part. <laughs> yeah, well, but I get I, everything I else. I don't want to do the crouching tiger, hidden dragon bullshit. Work it okay, out, work it God out. damn it. Sage, you, what's your year around? What? All that. You're the what? You remember when you used to go to a Chinese restaurant and they, you had to like pick your thing as a kid? It was on the like, little, I ain't gonna the lie, I, like a part of me, so I just ordered like this Chinese food the other day. Yeah. And I, I went through the, real quick, because I went through the fortune cookie <laughs> and I was like, oh, let me read my fortune. Right, 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 right. And I didn't really like it. And I was like, see, I knew yeah, this shit wasn't real, so I opened it another one. What is it? Um, what, what the first some one shit that I was gonna get a letter from a loved one. Nigga, a text? Don't nobody send letters. What, was that for you? <laughs> no, Fallon Bay ain't in jail no more. Not yet. Don't do that. No, it was I need to catch up. I think to catch up with the show. I'm, I'm missing all the stories. Felon Bay ain't even in the picture no more. I don't even know why she ooh, brought him up. Felon Bay. Ooh, ooh, but I know, but I, but I, oh, I feel it. He did eight and years. Then, and I know, ooh, ooh. <laughs> <laughs> That's my girl. Okay, we're gonna. Oh, Weezy, let's get on with the show. Oh, Mandy got some nerve. When I, I had it. my nigga that had the gun under the pillow, she was like, oh, here this bitch is. <laughs> now she's like, he did eight years or whatever. You know what I'm saying? But I can't like a nigga with a gun under the pillow for safety oh reasons. Oh my God, oh my God, I you love You know, it. and I'm not saying I'm in a ghetto. <laughs> but, okay, let's go. Up, what we, okay. I mean, the best tweet The best tweet about that video <laughs> was <laughs> when the IB kids go off their hallway. You know, like, did you have, would you have schools where y'all had um, inter- I be like uh, hallways where the smart, school? smart, smart kid. I went to Alabama School of Fine Arts, and then Alabama. I went to Howard Howard University. Yes. But like high school, yes, H-U, the real. Come on, like the only, <laughs> the only. <laughs> but um, no, there's there like in some schools, how that baby boy or girl or non-binary on that video um looks. That's how the the IB kids usually look. So when he's like, I'm in the ghetto, and the cat, the tweet was. When the IB kids leave off their hallway and go to the public school <laughs> Wait, area, what is the IB? So international baccalaureate is like a curriculum where you know oh, the children. So they are them kids. Yeah, they are them kids. Like that's how they look. That is. Oh, and I would, he was very no. She he. They, they were very non-binary. Oh, look at me. I'm ooh, working on. Know, come on, bro. Uh, girl. They, you know. Well, I'm excited to introduce this new segment. Um, where you guys will hear it. We're, we're, well, shout out to one of our what patrons, by the way. What is about spit and swallow? Spit and swallow. I uh, get see, that's a, we, we get we almost there. We, get, we, we almost there. there. Let her get her little outline so, on. Don't, mm-hmm. don't don't do me. So bitch. basically, y'all, Mandy <laughs> has a good idea, but she couldn't name it. Basically, so we, we were sitting here like, damn. Yeah, it's gonna be whole facts. Fuck mm. that. We gonna call mm. it the whole facts. Um, and these but see, are. When I hear whole facts, I think like fax or that's how I mean. It's really a fact. But listen, we working on but the name. Talk like that. Work. As you guys know, um, we we do focus on kinks, and we will get back to kinks as we have this is right those on crazy time. people. Mm-hmm. Not crazy. Right I'm sorry. Time. Different people in the kink community who come on and share. However, we are now going to introduce wild facts about sex that you did not learn in your history class. Mm. So this one the is kids knew it. that impotence <laughs> the trials kids, were a thing in medieval France. <laughs> There were very few ways that a woman could divorce her husband in the 1500s in France, but there was one deal breaker. They were allowed an annulment if they could prove that their husband couldn't get up. These, t- oh. these, oh yeah, oh. these tests, <laughs> these <laughs> tests did take place in court, and a man would have to make himself ejaculate in front of a jury and potentially have sex with his wife too. Oh, that's um, and so that's kinda, basically, that's yeah. Oh, that's so back in the day, um, <laughs> as you know, even in the, ch- it's kind of cool, right? It's yeah, I mean, y'all imagine. are really pervy, but um, <laughs> like, cause if he can, you'd be like, let me yeah, you'd be like, wait, let me, let me. So yeah. I found this interesting though. <laughs> 
Like, <laughs> Literally. I found this interesting because I know um, we have talked about men who maybe just have performance anxiety, but also when mm-hmm. I took, when I had my wild, crazy night at the sex club, um, mind you, we had fucked five times before even getting to the sex club. We fucked a total of 10 that night. Word. And the first time we went to fuck um, at the sex club, the couple beside us wasn't the most attractive and he couldn't get up. So I'm thinking like, damn, if you got to fuck in front of a jury, like if you don't like to perform in front of people, that's an easy way to say you can't get up because some men really can't get up. You really got to talk to your dick. Well, you, you, yeah, you do. But the thing, like, I, I What do you to say a, to yours? Um, I don't have to say anything. <laughs> I just, I, well, I, have, I have a vivid imagination. Okay. You know, so it's one of the things Pisces, I do believe in that shit. Oh. I love Pisces. Yo, oh, I didn't God, know I thought that. I was going to like you. Oh, 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 March 13th. Oh, of oh, yeah. course, of course. Hey, what are we doing? Oh, my God. Okay, we'll figure it out. Okay, we'll figure it out. Ew. I thought I was gonna like you, but now that you a Pisces, even Ooh, though I'm a comet, I know I don't want to be no other Pisces. <laughs> still, yeah, he com- got a crystal on his whole right, chest, exactly. man. Yeah, mm-hmm. that amethyst. don't mean much. That, oh, that's <laughs> our, you know this is ours, right? The amethyst. Anyway, amethyst the like... sex, the sex. I w- so I went to I did my so- first solo trip in 2017. I went to Mykonos. Okay, went I'm going to the there, church, Went to the church where they, you know, have like they they really do like crazy shit outside of there, like fucking sucking. Can all you of that. please give me that location? Like literally, it is right there on the dock. Mandy ain't ready for pink. And, and the crazy thing about it is, what's so funny to me is that during the day is like it actually is a church, and then during the nighttime it's debauchery. Wow. No. That's exciting. No, that's Sex exciting. And religion is hot. No, no, that's what I mean. Like that was that was fab. So anyway, I went there. Then I went to Italy, but I went to Sicily. Italy, um, Sicily. I went to Catania, and they have like these 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 um. What are they? They're called cruising bars. Cruising bars. Yeah, yes. talked about cruising. Yeah, and every and every time that I'm there, nobody is there, and I and I and I, and I try to go like at the times because that was my first time going, first solo trip, first everything. Oh, going there and was like, I want to go. I'm in Italy. I want to do it. Ah, this is why I picked this place. But then I was like, let me go at 2 p.m. when nobody there, just so I could be like, just okay, I case. see somebody. Yeah, but not really. Have you been to cruising bars like in the city? No, but. There is one that was in an article of GQ. The Eagle? Um, no, I've the been. Cock? To the, yeah, I think I think where it was talking about how men usually feel more comfortable masturbating in a group of men versus like by themselves. There was, I watched those videos. What? Yeah, time. yeah, like so. My friend and yeah. I'm not gonna put his name out there because he be doing this. Um, yeah, like but we it's had a GQ this talk. Article. And yeah, they literally. Yeah. He'll he'll meet Which up. I thought was they're like what. what what, they're ju- they're jack parties or something yeah, yeah, like that, right? Yeah. So, so they get together and they literally get in a circle. They don't touch each other yeah, at all. either. They literally just look at each other and jack and, and jack off. I feel off like I can't say my and friend's name. And, 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 and it's more can, communal that way. Because yeah. I think when I was a child, that's how, I mean, <laughs> those, were some of the first, those were some of the first the first experiences that I had with like, any, not not even being attracted to them, just like wanting some type of, because I really didn't have any male friends when I was a child. Like, I wonder if straight guys do that and like, oh no, they well, would never admit it. So, Never, yeah, but like, but like, I think the percentage of the men that are in those those clubs, I think about seven to ten percent are straight. Wow, so they'll just that's kind of high. Yeah, yeah. So it's like they'll sit over on a corner and then you know they'll they'll just watch and just it's yeah, yeah. And there's I think a it's guy just that. that I was fucking that was like why straight men are joining masturbation clubs. That's what the GQ. Well, why they are? Is. The yeah. guy was like, I'm not gay, but <laughs> which. To be fair, he wasn't yeah, attracted yeah, to men, but yeah. he would do like the whole Equinox sauna shit. Oh yeah, the old old girl. Well, I've never done that, but I've heard the stories. Oh, you haven't? Are you a member? I am a member. Oh, okay, but you haven't. So <laughs> yeah, I do have no, to read but, this. No, but I know the different locations. I do know the locations. What are the jerk off ones? Chelsea for sure. Chelsea definitely Columbus Circle. That I've heard. That's the one. We will that's never have Equinox one. as a yeah, goddamn that's sponsor on yeah. this goddamn that's show. Happen. Yeah, that's, we that's the one. We are saying you can go to their <laughs> locker room to get jacked off. They are not fucking with us. Fucking Bro, with this us. is like world news. Like New it's York Post news, covered yeah. this shit. No, so we won't get access to any Equinox in the world. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe all the sports clubs um, or, uh, you know, <laughs> yeah, the houses. The so houses, all so, those. There's only 10 questions, but I feel like they'll go forever. 10 questions with Ryan. First two are easy. Okay, don't. Spit or swallow. Swallow. <laughs> Thank you. Swallow. Swallow. How do you guys both? Think we are that? not childish. No, because babe, like I, I, I had sex with someone. They spit in my mouth for the first time. Like oh. maybe I think a, a few days, uh, not a few days, a few months ago, and I was just, I didn't know how to take it because he, he was, he was very like, he was a, <laughs> just very aggressive, and I said, mm-hmm. wait, okay, 
There's, there's, you weren't here for that? I, w- I wasn't here for all of it. You have to like... Did you know he was about to? Or was your mouth like... No, I did not know. He was just... But I did... I. <laughs> if y'all can see me, right? Like, right I, I, he yoked my ass, and then I was like, "Okay, something's about to." He spit in your mouth. Yeah, and I and I that's that was the first time that that happened, and I said, "Mm mm, mm mm, not not like that." So I'm not. <laughs> I'm, I'm not, not gonna like lie. That. Most recently, um, I just had sex, and I'm gonna explain that sex paid on another episode. Absolutely. But he spit into my face, and oh. Ooh, yes. Ooh. Bitch, and I was like, okay, I've done the mouth. Yeah, but the thing is, these lashes though, you didn't pay. Like, you didn't pay for those. Like, my, I ain't gonna lie, I know my lashes like split apart because they was wet, and I was just like, so he's still fucking me, but I'm just like, (laughs) (laughs) no, that's it. I still see it. I still see. I still see. I still see. That's what it is. I will say. There was a different way that I took it. Yeah. There's a different way you take a nigga spitting in your face and a nigga spitting in your mouth. Yes. Now. And so I'm not gonna lie. Two seconds. I left, my body left the room. I was no, like, no, 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 that's what I mean. <laughs> that's what I mean. And so, so I guess that was my onset. Like, okay, okay yeah. that was the first time that he spit. Because spit's disrespectful. And then, yeah, yes. and then I was just yes. like, and then, and then it, I jolted. I said, I, I felt my body literally just <laughs> go out. Bitch. And then I said, wait, 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 Ryan. Not, Keep okay. it going. Keep it going. <laughs> now, Keep see, going. I want y'all to know that are listening and are watching on YouTube that I just did air quotes because spit <laughs> is disrespectful. It I think is. it's You're supposed to fight. You're supposed to fight. We have learned that spit on me is like, you know what I mean? Much like I think the sucking dick thing sometimes, like with coming in my face, is that disrespectful? Like that e- no, insecure it helps the skin. episode. Now I agree with this. It helps the skin. But when I watched that insecure episode when Issa was tripping, I was like, girl, come on. <laughs> so I ain't gonna lie. If you come on my face, my shoulder, my titty, just my don't shoulder. come on my fucking hair. Yeah, no, that's, that's the thing. it. Yeah. Aim to where it, I don't like, don't have me have to go to the Dominicans because I'm gonna smell your nut in my goddamn weed. Yeah, 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 yeah. So yeah, it's literally yeah. just don't get it in my hair, whether it's braids, weave, wig. Wait, I, it doesn't matter. Don't come in my hair. No, that's a volume shooter. If he could volume shooter. I mean, I just aim, I'm, I'd be like aim for the mouth. I did this shit the other day, and that nigga started laughing while he was coming. <laughs> Would you? you did we this? were in my. It was our puzzle, and my makeup was Work. cute. I've not been But yet. I, I didn't want to go. fuck it up, so I was just yeah, like, yeah. oh. <laughs> <laughs> and he, he was like, wow. Like, let's just go. Let's back. just go. <laughs> okay, you can come now. Just no, right the, the guy the guy that spit in my mouth was from Miami, but I didn't. I've never been to Miami. I just I was in LA. Excuse. Oh, are you been? I'm sorry. Italy. I know, Mekin- but not Mekinos. Miami. I have been Miami. like that with Canada. Every Tokyo. Time, every all- time that Art Basel comes around, I'm like, oh, shout out to y'all, though. You know, hang. Because Art Basel <laughs> has changed very much. You know, we're from no. Florida, so I- I'd been earlier in the years. And I like, used to live in Miami. So. I think oh, it's ruined. Well, well, I was born in Fort Lauderdale, Florida. Nigga, you've been in Miami. Get out of my face. No, I have not been. I have not. Wait. Okay, when you said that, I was confused. No, I haven't been. So I want you guys that are listening to know what Geography. the proximity from <laughs> yes. Fort Lauderdale to Miami is. I've never, we've never been, If though. you live in Brooklyn, it is going to Manhattan. Awkward. But I've never been. <laughs> if it's you like live, the if best you live, place to be you, gay. If you live yeah, in, I mean, yeah, but, you if know, you live I, in I, Atlanta, no, but okay, hear me out. it's I going to Gwinnett. No, but we, we moved... <laughs> Oh, that that's a good one. That is good. Yes, that's what that's it is. Good. That's good. No, it real is black. good. No, that got really, really black, nigga. Like you know, period. <laughs> um, no, but uh, look at this. Forty-two minutes away. Yeah. Okay. But... <laughs> in, in a car. <laughs> no, no, no. I yeah, just yeah, can't yeah, say yeah, how yeah, you're yeah. gay and haven't been to Miami. No, because we we my great grandmother got sick when I was six. We moved to Birmingham that at that time. Oh, you did say Alabama yeah, school. Yeah. So yeah. So it was like I really I was not doing my my gay things at six. <laughs> Or, or five. Oh, well, actually, that's a good question. When were you gay? Seven? So uh, yes, right. <laughs> top, bottom, or first? Oh, <laughs> you know, I always He's like, I, skip. I hate this question. Really? But no, I mean, if we're if we're putting it on paper, then I like what I like when I like it. That's what it is. Yeah, too. yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah same, sis. Same. <laughs> okay. Same. You know, I just like it when I like it. You know, I might want to climb a tree one day. I might like to <laughs> dig a hole after. after. <laughs> yeah, dig a hole after. You know, <laughs> dig it out. Emphasis on hole. Um, no pun intended, but top to bottom. <laughs> <laughs> but <laughs> describe. Look at me, my improv class. Oh wait, wait get, yes, get, get, get the minute mark. We need to add the yes, the drums. We need to add some sound effects. We're trying to up the production of the show. <laughs> okay, top to bottom, describe okay. your perfect man. What would he look like? Ooh. If you have to use a celebrity, that's also fine. Because mine is Trevante Rhodes and or... Okay. He's not tall enough, but that's okay. cute. That's... that's, that's, that's mm. <laughs> Kofi? Hell no. Love him down, but no. But no. Um, okay. 
<laughs> Love you, coffee. Okay, let's start. Beard? No. Clean face. Clean face. Is he, is Maybe he a mustache. Bald? Does he have twists? Does no, he, he has like, he might be doing the blonde up, black down on the beard situation. Oh. Or like, like a, a different kind of look. Oh, yeah, like no. OBJ? Yes. There we go. Got it. No, actually. Boom. Actually, yes. Actually, but yes. Because that's a beautiful ass man. Oh. And I am plotting on that one. Can we not keep pulling these? I, I am, not, I am, I am can I just say, I'm when he comes out. I am trying to be efficient here. You're plotting on him. I'm plotting on him. Oh, and I'm no, plotting on right right now. Now. No, I'm plot- got a twist. Oh. What's the boo? I want to see the boo. The Lola boo. Woods. I said that in the episode with Mouse and them when they said, who's my Instagram so girl crush? It's his bitch now. But like, but like, Lola even, Woods. Even, Lola Woods gorgeous. Look up Lola Woods and, and Odell I just, Beckham. I love, I love both. They how fine. he looks because if I'm mad at you I have to be able to look at you Lolo. this one after oh, Lolo. and then Lola oh that's, Lolo, her, that's yeah. her no okay. black girl with the curly hair right she's beautiful oh she's gorgeous she's a singer oh no she's not oh she's <laughs> it said she is Randy she's not a singer it's said on the side singer oh she a Pisces look wow look how far Proverbs so close, uh-huh. I mean I mean close close to us because he likes that isn't he a Scorpio I think he is he right? said close to us <laughs> no isn't, isn't he isn't he a Scorpio I don't oh, she's, she's fine. She's fine as hell. I take both of them. So but you I'm know, she. For, but, but you know, I got like a fluid her, vibe from him a few times, and I think I just want it. Baby, no. I mean, it, um, it's there. It's there. Because I would have been him over. <laughs> it's there. In real yeah, life, no, she no, got to no, watch me bend yeah. that nigga over. She better, she better be doing or that. Or you could peg him on oh, his back. She's, yeah, she's beautiful. She's I'll, beautiful. I'll fuck both of them. Oh, yeah. I oh, think, she's cute. So he's aesthetically pleasing to me. Aesthetically and like playful energy. I love that. I like that too. To me, someone who is. Gorgeous, and I also like his energy, and it's probably because he's foreign. He's from Germany. Oh, is Boris God. Cujo? But I he's like from pre- Germany. I didn't know. Yes, that. he's he's black and white. But I, I didn't think know his, that either. Yeah, he's from Germany. He speaks German and old. everything. Oh, fab. Yes. Oh, oh fabulous. Oh, fuck me and speak another language. Right. All right. Oh, I'm sorry. But not like Spanish. My, yes. like, I don't Spanish is too basic. Mm, no. Que rico. Don't call me mommy mm, mm, while we fuck. I don't like that. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait. There's, but okay, I want to so hear o- something that yeah, I don't OBJ, know. You said top to bottom, top to like top, top. You know the list. No, but him, him top to no, bottom. He's, he's what, top what, to bottom. What, um, oh, oh, aesthetic. You, you did it. You did it well. Now, here's another one. So, have you ever kissed a woman? And if so, <laughs> were you like? No, no, no. So I had a girlfriend when I was 12 oh, in, wow. in middle school. We, we. So we were doing nasty stuff before I even. Got into high school. Like we we had this book. We found out we had a fr- we had a friend group that was like one was in high school, one was in middle school, and they the only time that they saw each other was on a bus. So they had like a notebook where they like wrote nasty shit to each other and then just like at twelve. Yeah, at twelve and just send it me. back and forth. I was doing that. And then send it back and forth. So we were like, Hey, let's do that too. But we go to the same school. She only like a year older than me. So oh. the damn principal, I'm talking about you, my rib and yada yada yada. I, 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 like I, I want to mm, mm, this, you, you know, all that. And then the principal, I think, got it from her. I guess she was writing in it, and one of the teachers took it up. Grabbed it. Made copies for both of our parents. Oh no! My mom is sitting there with the whole. Co- I see the copy on her like nightstand. Like I see how he Xerox the whole thing. I said, God Oh damn. my god, that's so embarrassing. Because you that's know when you're 12, you really don't know what the fuck you're talking about. You don't know what the about. fuck you're talking but about. But to me, if you're 25 at 12, you had more of social media yeah. stuff than we had MySpace at least by yeah, middle school. I mean, because like I, I think did. yeah, yeah. So, so I had MySpace, Bebo. He had when everything that was, Black, when that was our Black yeah, yeah. Black Space. Because we're yeah. almost five years. I'm yeah. almost five years older than you. Yeah. So and I know the access we had yeah. even in middle school. So yeah. you. Mm-hmm. you you, you had what I yeah. yeah. You, you know, Googling. I got to use the Dewey Decimal System and the internet. You know, hey. that's what you know. That's my generation. <laughs> and listen, I told y'all, <laughs> I, I was reading Zane books at ten. Oh no, me too. No, my oh girl, child, I was in the bathroom. <laughs> At my grandma's house, reading them damn things. Yeah, that's how I like found out about anything. You know the car, the car <laughs> stories, the, the whole, all yeah. of them. Zane let me know I was a hoe early on. Yeah, and I was like, I was like, I, I want to fuck all them. So, and sister so soldier, I, so I, I swore my man was gonna be midnight. Yeah. Oh my god, <gasps> not sister soldier. <laughs> oh. oh yes. The coldest winter. Now, Black Black. when do you remember your first boyfriend? Gay memory. Gay memory. So I, I so I wasn't a bad child. I was just sneaky. So I remember I'm gonna um, I had I had boys come over to my house like in the front, not come into my house, but like park in front of my house. Um, I don't know when was the first. So this is high school. No, I this was because they're, they're driving. Park. Yeah, 
Yeah. So your first gay memory was <laughs> in high school. Yeah. Oh wow. Oh, actually, no. I I I had I lost my virginity when I was sixteen at my at my performing arts high school in the bathroom that was connecting. So I was dating a dancer, and That's the dance and the dance the men's dance. Can you not sixteen girl? The Calm men, down. The men Nothing's hot about this. No, 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 no. But you know, <laughs> at the, at the moment, no, 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 no. but like so, you know, both performance um, uh, disciplines. We had we were connected by a bathroom, like the men's dancers dressing room and the men's actors dressing room, and then there was a, um, a bathroom in between. And there was this beautiful boy from Niagara Falls, like you know, gorgeous, gorgeous. Like he was, I think he was West, yeah, West Indian. Had people like the are whole from thing. There? Yes, I didn't yeah. know people. People live there. They came to our Canada show. <laughs> like Niagara Falls is a whole city. Yeah, it's a whole thing, bro. Yes, yeah. It's not just the water. <laughs> I, but ain't it like in Buffalo? <laughs> I'll do the sound. <laughs> <laughs> oh. no, you know, but, but Grand Canyon is just no, the no, Grand no, Canyon. But, you can't live in the yeah, Grand Canyon, right? So see, bitch. No, no, but no, but this is weird. It's weird. When you okay. said Niagara Falls, I was like, I'm. You're in the water. You got a house in the water. <laughs> no, say, no, that's how my bright. That's how you know okay. ignorant we are. But so I, I was ain't just, been there it, yet. Especially Alabama, like this this little cute little boy. Because my high school also was a boarding school. Oh. So you could live there too if you lived out he of lived state. He lived there. Yes. Oh, so he was sexually repressed. Yeah. So it was like, and you know, he he son, was a it, child. We a child. Yeah. Yeah. And so and so and so, <laughs> and so <laughs> Weezy. <laughs> no more coffee for no you. No more. No. She can't um, have coffee, weed, water, and, sleep. And, and so, she and, comes and so in I life. remember. I remember he texted me, and I was in class, and he was like in discipline, and he was just like, "Hey, I'm downstairs. We we've been contemplating this for a while." So then. Lost my virginity literally in the shower of the bathroom. Um, I hate wow. And it was great. But wait, hold on. Gay great. memory, not like sex. Like gay memory, like oh, memory? feeling uh, oh. that you were. Oh. Uh, um, Four. Five. <laughs> in, in five months. <laughs> <laughs> chromosomes got me. Chromosomes got me down. No, no, no. But like, no, because. So then why cause, date cause, the girl? Were you, on, I mean, in no, Alabama? No, because I grew up, I grew up in, I grew up in a, in a, in a household. My grandfather was like my father figure and he was always when i was a child being like oh it's okay to say a, a man is handsome or he's he's cute like you, you there's no attraction it's just like he's a good looking man so i was like okay cool well he's gorgeous and he this <laughs> and he pretty and this and i was like wait then i started realizing that i was attracted to them but i was trying to suppress it so then but i was also attracted to this the girlfriend with the book as well you know i was just like okay well let's see what's going on but I think also my first thought probably was when, so my mom had two, she had a, um, a friend, friends that were married, two white men that were gay. And I remember feeling like right at home at their house. Like they were always the rich friends, you know, the ones with the uh, house. It's so nice to have house. that memory of someone that's like what you're thinking. Yeah. And like, you know, antiquated, you know, um, antiquated uh like furniture mm. they had cards with you know men with dicks on just laying on the damn coffee table oh, come nobody on, Alabama. Saw, nobody saw me like nobody saw me like get the deck and like look at the dick can, can i ask you a question then yeah, babe. um so pose is a show that i just started watching yeah um, last night and your story <laughs> to me literally um well my friend carla told me to watch it over the summer she would have it playing because she was catching up on all the episodes yeah. um but i watched it because i wanted to be sure i knew who your character was and as you're explaining you going to a performing arts school you see oh, things you know, it's on the very head. it's literally it's very almost your, it's damon it's your no, character it is. so yeah and so i wanted to ask you because in <laughs> almost the opening credits of being introduced to your character <laughs> Again, you know, you but know. I don't know what part of the Libra is I'm being <laughs> doing your research. That's what yes, it is. But um, in the in the introduction of your character, yeah. it was you almost feeling like you had to hide yeah. who you were to, to the parents um, in the show. Yeah. That was and then they found the magazine, yeah. and you're saying you enjoyed seeing the, the magazines and yeah. cards playing around. That scene. Yeah, yeah, and, but also. In terms of you wanting to be this dancer and being introduced into the ballroom yeah. scene, I I remember you being led by the character at the time, well, letting yeah. you know like you're accepted into this community yeah, yeah, and yeah. you can still be as fabulous and do what you like yeah. and be respected yeah. by your community. So again, listening to you share your story, how easy when you read that script was it to act out all of those scenes? So 
at my my producer session with Ryan Murphy, Steve Canals, Jenny Mock, all the people at FX. Yes. That was my second audition. And after I did the scenes, they were like, sit down. We're going to do a character interview. So then they asked me questions oh, wow. about my life. This is because you're Damon. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and they, they were like, yeah, so what happened? How did this happen? When did this happen? What was your favorite day? Like all of that. And I was like, I'm reading the script, like thinking that I said that in confidence. <laughs> And then I said, all right, bitch. Okay, I got y'all asses. I mean, you, I mean were, you, you were your character. So, like, listening to you say this, I'm like, how, which, is, how is Damon different then? Well, I never got kicked out of my home. So I think okay. everything, everything else, yeah, yeah. Did your parents react the same way as they did in, in the show? Or what was the reaction of no, your parents so when I, you came I out? Didn't, I didn't come out until I was in college. My, Damn. My sophomore year. Oh, wow. So I was, like, you know, having sex, doing that at 16, 17, 18, up until I left. And then I was about to go to study in London. Hold on, what age is that? That's um, 20? That's, that's 15, mm-hmm. 16, 17. Yeah, that's 20, 20, 21. Bro, yeah. in five years, you come out, and then you're literally on a stable gay <laughs> show. And you know, that's the crazy thing. Like, not only am I gay, the best gay. The best gay. <laughs> I am the best gay. And, oh, and I'm not the best gay. But yeah. No, but like... um. Yeah, so I I was I was doing a I, I wrote a one man show about um, Langston Hughes, who's also like a queer, right. you know. Um, and I read read his autobiography. His autobiography I, opens yeah, up to yeah, about yeah, his no, sexuality. Yeah, the big and of course, C. they don't teach us that at all, at all. You know, he's just a speaker of the people. So I was like, okay, I'm going to create a show for my fundraiser to get to London to study theater. But my boyfriend at the time was my production manager, and we were doing a show back in Alabama as a fundraiser. So I was like. Bitch, they gonna, my mama gonna know the moment that you walk into my house <laughs> that you my nigga. Like, right. cause how I better be reacting with you. So let's go ahead and nip this in the butt. His mom was crazy, crazy. We had to lie and say, <laughs> my best friend was my aunt to get him to get down there to buy the train oh. ticket, like all of that. Oh, cause you wow. know, so then his, I think the, the, the theater manager, his mom called the theater manager, gave my gave his mom my num- my mom's mom my mom's number. His mom and my mom are talking. She's crazy talking about. So my mom calls me and she's like, "Yeah, I talked to his crazy ass mama." She's talking about y'all boyfriends or something. I said, "Yeah, we are." She said, "Wait." She in like a store said, "Wait, hold on." That means you're. I said, "No, that just means that he's my boyfriend. That's what it is." So she was like, "I'm gonna call you back. We gonna talk about this when you get." <laughs> <laughs> so like winter break of sophomore year was very hard for me. Did your mom say she always knew? No. A lot of parents say that. They yeah, just say that. No, cuz I think what it was, it's so funny to me because my mom introduced me to my first gay couple, you know. My right. my cousins are like lesbian, like I she has been with nothing but women all my life. And then felt like she couldn't and see then, it. Yeah, and then I was just like, "Girl, did she um says, did, did she respond differently than your dad did?" My dad, because even in the show, yeah. the dad took it way so, more. So, so during those times serious. where we're talking, when I'm a teenager, my mom and my dad already separated. She was okay. remarried to my um my stepfather at the time. The abuse that happened with my stepfather. Oh. So what happens at the show is very much like it was a whole. Moment. Oh, my mom had get, to be the you partition. Get, um, writing credits. Yeah. On the goddamn show. I mean, <laughs> I mean, she's because I mean, I'm, I'm telling you, like, what's t- going on? Uh, <laughs> seriously, seriously. <laughs> no, no, you no, are the no. character. No, but like, honestly, this is, me, and this Ryan, is me and Ryan shared that he actually got Ryan Murphy got kicked right. out of his home. Mm. So wow. that was a that was a very heal that was a healing moment for both of us because I hadn't really dealt with it since I got out of school. I mean, well, had to deal with it. And then now my mom's at my season one premiere, episode one is playing. And this was a- my mom, my grandma, my aunt, oh. my sister. Oh. My mom is sitting next to me, and she's like, I'm squeezing her hand because she's like, she remembered. That moment where we were at a fish fry and this happened, right? Like, oh. yeah. So it was it was very jarring, but it's so crazy because you know the the last show that we see a queer, um, really like hero or person that's like fighting for the the cause is Jesse Smollett's character on on Empire. Oh, you know, he, well, you know, he threw that. To I mean, next in line. I mean, <laughs> I mean, it's my place now. <laughs> yeah, look at me. No, but you, look at you, me, you, you know? like acted your ass off well, in that thanks, scene. And so even watching yeah. it and then hearing your story sitting, so sitting across from me. No, I, I just want to know. me so it, happy it, it about it triggered you, yeah. Like, I was watching a movie and recently, I think Obey was like, 
I hate when black movies do this to us. Like, why? I know it ain't this many bad actors. Like, why do black movies have to do this to us? <laughs> That's why Pose, to me, was such a big fucking yeah. deal. Because mm-hmm. you get so invested. It's so real and good. Yeah. Like, it's not it's just good because it's black. Yeah, it's yeah. just good. You know what it's I mean? good writing. It's good, it's good cinematography. Now, I want to know these more, more questions. Oh, that's right. Oh, yeah, so, we're getting off of this now. Back to it. <laughs> yeah. uh, I'm just like, you are who We did not this. Have you ever been on a dating app? Which ones? Oh, and Lord. not oh, dating app. Tell us what your Girl, profile. So said. while I was in Tulum, Look. no, while I was in Tulum, I was just so I I well, I'm about to TMI, but I don't give a fuck. Um, That's how we like. Which one yeah, you use? I love Raya. that. I okay. Um, I use. I just got on the league. I just was. Um, I've heard of the league. The league I've is heard are they actually good looking. That they, they. It's just like they. Maybe the gay ones are. Yeah, they they suss it out. They like. They only give you but three or four people to choose from a day. Mm-hmm. So you have, and you know, like... You gotta like, you gotta think. You gotta think. Just because they're black, don't yeah, fight. Yeah, yeah. Um, so, <laughs> but, but I'm on, I, I, but while I'm, when I go away, for everybody that, when I'm in my European and South America and every other Same. place, you know, use it. I, I don't, yeah, I use it here, but um, I, there was a new one that I found when I was in Tulum called Three Fun, which is about threesomes. It's, um, here we go. Yeah, it's three, called Three Fun. Three so I know fun. about Field. Is it I, gay or no? No, it's oh girl, no, no, no. Three, three fun. There's another one called cruising, <laughs> and we talked about that. Yeah, we yeah. Which is like I thought that <clears throat> Tulum doesn't have any cruising places. Is is Playa del Carmen and Cozumel that I like the the I realized that there was a saturated places. Raya, I'm not on Raya. They haven't. I'm on chat. Well, well, Raya. I've noticed most friends that like have notoriety because you can't screenshot. It's yeah. Like so that so that's good. But I don't know if it has a strong gay presence. So yeah, I don't. So think what's so your either. profile say about you on the dating app? Oh, oh I'm a, I'm a, I'm gonna I'm bring one up. And well, I love before it. you bring it up, I'm curious to know if when you do match someone, if they automatically ask you if you're real. That's no, they do that's all the they, time. Okay. Like there, there was a few moments where I got a little lonely while I was here and on Grinder, and was like they were like. Are you Ryan Jamal Swain? And I'd already sent the dick pic. <laughs> <laughs> so then I gotta block them yeah! now. Because I'm just like, you can't answer that, yeah, I can't no, answer no, that at no, all. No. You will never know. Is your name I not Ryan on there? It's like, <gasps> or like, okay. shit. Or like, oh, or like, or like, or like RY and then space A. Uh, the first one he said. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But like, um, <laughs> But even then, uh, oh, my, I, na- my I name is. I can't believe they haven't removed you. I got removed off Bumble because people said were saying I was fake. Oh, wow. No, but like, let's see. Okay, this is about me. Let's see what happens. Excited to potentially meet someone that will be a vibe and a vessel. I, I played it safe that on that like one. That sounds like such a whole ass fucking vibe. No, but you know, but you know That's the, that free looking spirit. Looking for a vibe. No, That's you know, free spirit. No, but, but the gag is, is and, and with the horoscope <laughs> shit. Here we go. Aries moon. People were just like, when your Venus is Aries, that means you're a fuckboy already. That's so true. I was like, damn. Oh, is that why I Ari- Aries off? Yeah. yeah. Like, he was awful. Like, my Venus is an Aries, so, like, sometimes I just get very... I- I'm all for I'm all for the person, and then I'm like, but my I have Sagittarius rising, and Sagittarius is all about adventure. Like, oh, I want to go here. I'll skip, be aloof, do that. So you a hoe in both? Yeah, moves. so it's bad. <laughs> but the Pisces like calms me down. It's like, okay, I love somebody, but then I get so bored. So you know what I call myself on the show, right? What the emo hoe? No, I am the emo hoe. No, for <laughs> real. Bitch, I walk. I look. I I'm isolated dick, but down. But I might be like, damn, no. but I love it. There's this Pisces oh. energy going on. It you know, oh, he. Been Let me go back to nasty. One, literally. Okay, well, <laughs> this what's is up? Too much for me. Okay, so, <laughs> when I was watching Sex Explained, there's this thing called your disgust response. Basically, saying like, what's nasty or gross to you changes upon your arousal. So, I want to know, mm-hmm. what porn do you watch that's too embarrassing to share? Because your disgust response is so high. Like, what do you start with? And then the hornier you get, you're like, I'm going to watch this. I start with groups. I start with the group ones, like the ones where it's like, there's this brand that does like, when they're like, it's all men and it's like five or seven of them. And they're all like fucking, they're all like fucking one one guy, but it's like, is, is, yeah. 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 (laughs) This is the type of porn I watch. Yeah. Um, All of the gangbangs, but there's this one. Yeah. And and it's new. There's a fuck house series. Yes, yes. <laughs> that one. <laughs> that one. Uh, I know. Yes. There's a fuck um, house. So yeah, no, so like, it's literally called, if, if you guys are watching Pornhub and you go to the gay portion of it, you type in fuck house and there's literally, there's one that's like 58 minutes, but yeah. then they also break it into a lot of different ones. But a lot of times they are fucking 
one guy. So there's one yeah. that I really like. There's three of them. Yeah, no, on Leon mm. Holt. Like Leon, 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 Leon Red. Leon Red. By the by the pool. Baby. Have you seen that one? No, I have. It is so good. I, no, yeah, that like so so I so that so I love those. So you, I do like you say disgusting. Out. So you say disgusting, disgusting, but like, what's like disgusting shit in porn? Like I like a lot of cum swapping. I, oh. I you know the thing about I don't know if this is scientific and we can prove it. <laughs> um <laughs> Let's get but our like, scientists like, together. Like, but like, but like Scientific. The, but like the cream pie moments, like when people are like, you know, penetrating and then it's like, it's like, um, there's like white, like residue. Luber, yeah. Residue. I don't know if the ass does that. So naturally it, it, so, it doesn't. So we, Cause some so scientists we talk, think that I is, talked about it, it with Dustin. Dustin? Yeah. No, it was with Dustin. It, Dustin or maybe someone else. Or I think I've had this conversation because a lot of people think that the butt the, the butt creams and cum yeah or like so, a G spot is like so in, I found you know, out and I don't one, know if it's science or nothing like that but um, it's actually the lube that's creates what that, it is that, that so foamy it, type it, of it thing it creates yeah. kind of like if, if you wash your hands and it's a, it's a regular consistency and then the, it becomes soapy Got it's the, actually it. the lube that you use in anal that once you go in and out the friction causes it I to get creamy white I know it turns white but Copy. that does yeah. make sense that to makes my sense. Okay. Like, like so, okay. Like okay. So. yeah and then the and That's then, what the, it is. And then the, the most disgusting one is like every now and then I do watch the ones where people are like farting <laughs> on the dick like Why? the air the air like the air just like so it's like, different than a pussy fart because now this yeah. is really coming out of your ass. Yeah. Yeah. I think it's because a fart the fart. noise is like gratifying, like oh, I'm fucking the yeah, shit like out thinking, of you. Yeah, no, that, yeah, that's what it, it is, is. Essentially, that's can we what call it, it a new name? Not like yeah, a like fart. yeah, let's do a. Well, a I guess it's a, coming a, out of your a, ass. A queef. That's the name of it. A queef. An ass queef. An ass queef. An ass queef. That's a fart. A culo queef. <laughs> Not a cool. <laughs> so, Look at us coming back from Mexico. Back. I, 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 I'll, I'll be honest. The the one that's kind of weird to me that I've been recently watching, yeah. and it actually when I watch it, I get scared for the actor. Okay, uh, Rosebud. <laughs> It's so, like the which ones? Well, no, not the calm down with the fisting, but yes, but but like the, the there, full. There's, there's one now, and there's a whole series. Once you get into one, it takes you down the rabbit hole. And bitch, you watch them. I do. Oh yeah, let's go. But it's like where they're in a dungeon and contraptions, and they bend the guy over. One even puts him in a thing like where they used to take people's yeah, heads the, off. Yeah, the the the, the guillotine. The, so yeah. they get into the, so they get into the guillotine, <laughs> guillotine. and guillotine. whether it's but guillotine is fun, uh, but a guillotine is fun. That should be the it's really a guillotine. guillotine. It's a guillotine. <laughs> um, and so they're in it and they can't move. And normally they start with like big ass toys oh. that you know they can't really take. Yes, I've seen. I, 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 I've seen, yes, I've, I've seen a little like, bit of like the previews on and the I side. Feel, and I kind of feel and sorry I know the for the actors. person because I know like, it's oh hurting. I know they're hurting. But it's like still interesting. Like, ooh, I want my nigga to be taking whatever I do and he yeah. can't win. <laughs> no, but no, that, no, but that's what it's it, crazy. And, and, some, and sometimes like they, sex, they have, yeah. Force sex. That's what it yeah, is. Oh. It is. And it's weird because mm. you can't find rape <laughs> fantasies mm. um, at all. That's like a thing. Thank God they don't. But it's crazy. So. I want to shout out to all of our Twitter followers and our Instagram followers. They send us a lot of the news. I do want to bring up one of the things that someone brought. It was the number four most watched video on Pornhub recently. And it's a girl who is strapped to um, some contraption. Yeah. And she's being forced to fuck. But she's clearly uh, an adult. Yeah. And they say teen girl. So they were like, Got what it. is it with pornos? Making it seem like it's a teen being fucked instead of an actual just young woman. And you know, and I, and, and, that, and, that's, and that's, that's one of those things where we are so infatuated with children and well, ch well, people looking premature, you right. know, yes. and, and like and like just pubescent, like. But we do it with black people. Yeah, black don't, don't cry too, down. Black because there's cry. an innocence with a teen yeah, doing that. You feel that like you're over... the first one to have. Ah, uh, so Not yeah, like, it's really just interesting, know. like the rabbit holes that I think a lot of us do mm -hmm. get into with watching these porns. It's just like, okay, we need to know what we're just watching for enjoyment and yeah. hopefully not act on. Mine's yeah, just a cum slut thing. Like, well, we always. know you like a whole bunch of cum. I don't. What, what it is it? Honestly, yeah, you know, I. Funny. I mean, they have, husbands, they have to be. They have to be eating a lot of pineapples like or something that. But I don't I, even need it in my mouth. I just want to like yeah. look at it, like see it. Just I love the mess. And as nasty as I am, that's. Probably one of the most disgusting things yeah, I during sex. Ooh, I don't want no, it on me if no. I see it. Even if we're fucking and we're so nasty and I'm like, I'm your little slut and I'm saying all these nasty things. As soon as they call me, I'm like, ew, you're so nasty. Get you it know, off. Get it off. Get it off. 
yeah. I want to swallow it. I don't want to see it. Let yeah. me show you how nasty I was getting that today. Uh, no, uh, don't do that. Uh, Listen, uh, so, I no. mean, obviously I knew he was recording. And then, like, you know when you know it's recording, oh, and you're that. like, damn, now I got to, like. We don't want to see you have sex, Listen, bro. I had to, like, put the spit on the oh, oh, my, my God. God. <laughs> Listen. Once I was getting into it, I was like, that was the first thing. I was Why? like, I'm going to turn it off. And then he's like, you really want me to turn it off? And I was like, no. no. <laughs> I, hate, I hate that I can't. Mm, okay, there, there might be for some hack. No, you can't, you can't really. I, I can't, yeah, I, I can't find mine that I made earlier. Oh, that's the worst. Yeah, like I've had like- about five or six phones. Yeah, uh-huh. so don't do iCloud. No, I didn't know. Yeah, it that's, was so it was, you always have to keep yeah. it on the actual device. Yeah, that's local, how Rihanna got local. hacked. iCloud is whenever something's internet based, it can get hacked. Yeah, your hard phone, like I don't know. Hard, <laughs> I might need to look at my phone. I don't know how my phone set up. The hardware of your yeah. phone, I'm saying, like can't necessarily get hacked unless it's in someone's hand and opened. But if it's uploaded to a cloud, cloud somewhere, yeah. absolutely it can be compromised. Yeah, like during that time, I don't think my I, I, I don't have it. I used to sell like I need to go to faster recovery software, right? Yeah. Um, when I was working in tech and this one office I went to a finance firm can't say the name they're huge and global and had an entire floor of papers and I was like oh this is perfect I'm thinking like because each cabinet is like 10 grand yeah 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 and he's like these are clients that make over a certain amount of money annually and we can't put it in the cloud yeah this literally has to be here and they replicated the document to other places in case buildings burn down but it will never go in the cloud that's that's how it was my manager yeah my manager got got that shit for me because I told her you know I'm very Prime. I'm very clear about how crazy I get with her so I'm just like okay yeah I did this uh huh mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. so can you uh got it great but Go for ahead. real though like if imagine now, at your age because like, if you start earlier, child. if you're starting here imagine in five years yeah. you know what I'm saying like, yeah exactly they look at that tweet or that, that video or yep. whatever they they always, ha- is that something that you've done? Like, so you're on the dating apps, you meet people, you're out partying. Have you gone through your old tweets or old social media yeah, no, and started deleting stuff? The crazy thing about the tweets thing is that I was so not, I was so anti Twitter for a long time that the only thing that was updating on that was like the Pisces, the horoscope shit. Oh, shit. So I was like, oh Thank good. God. That's it. Oh, I ain't really. And you been... can't mass delete tweets. So when yeah. we first started Horrible Decisions Twitter, yeah. I was gonna use mine because it has a certain amount of followers. And I was like, like you know that. what, bro? Like I'm not gonna get canceled. So I can't go back yeah. through all these. Let's just start it, it was it's terrible. Yeah. I think I had one Yeah you have um one of did you want to ask this question? Um and I think this is important just for people who are listening and really oh, like yeah, your yeah, energy. Yeah, absolutely. Have you encouraged cis gay men that aren't supportive of our trans sisters? As an advocate, what do you do to have that conversation? And can people come and maybe see you in panel discussions and other things? Yeah. No, what, I, what is your voice outside of pose? What yeah. what is your voice? No, I've I've done a lot of um panels with like CAA Social Impact and like um uh Fenway Health and uh It Gets Better and Trevor Project, like just trying to make sure that the youth understand that, you know, there is in our own community a hierarchy system, like a totem pole. You know, the my my trans sisters, brothers, and non-binaries at the at the end, right at the bottom. And you know, when everybody needs someone not to quote pose, but everybody needs someone to make them feel superior. That's essentially Mm. how how Mm. it goes. And if it's not, you know, gay, well, cis hat, I mean, cis cis gay men trying to bash uh lesbians or bi folk or you know black to black to white or or you know you know whatever i really do um make it my my mission especially as a cis queer male like to be like no you have to understand that this we have to fight for all privilege privilege personifies itself in many different ways pretty privilege ugly privilege mm-hmm. cis to trans privilege rich to poor privilege color privilege color pri- color privilege right. like we are all benefiting from something some type of privilege Mm -hmm. um no matter how we like to see it and if we can be able to call ourselves and everybody else out well call ourselves not everyone but call ourselves out first we'll provide a little bit more compassion for a lot of for a lot of other people so for me that's what i'm really really about in 2020 and this last year has been um and just since the pose has really opened my eyes to the shit that i was ignorant to with my own community oh wow you know Because from Birmingham, Alabama, I didn't know if I have met somebody that has been trans or non-binary in my life. But um, it really opened my eyes to how much we have to advocate for my my sisters and brothers. And Did you know your reach at first? Like when, I mean, obviously we don't know how big that no, will that, be. But... It, was cr- it was crazy to me because I don't think, 
I didn't have a Damon on my TV screen. You know what I mean? Right. Like at right. all. And now. I mean, I ain't going to lie, though. If you take a look at these cartoons now as an adult. Oh, no. They are going crazy. Girl, I just had an audition for one of them last night. I what, said, a cartoon? Yeah. Um, yeah, I had to do a voiceover last night. Well, send it in today. But, what 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 little but people? Like these like, adu- like the, yeah. And they're supposed to be children cartoons, but just the sexual innuendos. I just went to the movie theaters and saw Jumanji. Jumanji's supposed to be goddamn kids. It's Kevin it Hart was, and the Rock. Yeah. They had so now, much sexual innuendos talking about like horse dicks, and I was just like, Holy No, it, it, is, it is now it has now been Literally. saturated. It's PG thirteen. Is it PG thirteen? Jumanji? Yeah. yeah. I guess you could be fourteen. You could be fourteen and talk about horse dicks. That's kinda of normal, isn't it? But see, gay <laughs> gay shows particular where you see a not where I'm from. <laughs> there go that Mexican no, shit. No, there, 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 there it is. No, shit. when it, watching a cause to me, like a show like Pose is like, oh my God, I'm going through that. I have those dreams. Yeah. Blah blah blah. I don't have a place to watch this. But like, do you feel like more your advocacy has to heighten do you feel pressure oh no that was a conversation that i had with one of my classmates from high school he was just like yeah i've always wanted to ask you this he's in his phd at stanford right now like Ooh, like a whole like a whole ass the one of the youngest candidates pj love you um, <laughs> and uh he was just like yeah because i always wanted to ask you because your visibility like your queerness has been so like i've never known you to be this queer <laughs> In your life. Oh, he's you like, know? your shit elevated. Yeah, he was like, your shit had elevated. Like, <laughs> like, Look at you with that neon hat. Right. Exactly. <laughs> right, with this, this bright oh, ass. Colorful ass. This colorful ass. Yay. Oh, right. Hey. 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 With this damn blind <laughs> ass shit on my head. Like, what the hell? No, but, oh. I was, but he was like, do you think that the show, like, may, you had to do that? And, you know, I always joke around when I'm in a um, in an interview because... I think Ryan Murphy out of all of us, because in every article he was like the largest LGBTQIA <laughs> uh, cast, the largest, you know. So it was just like that shit was well, crazy. Bitch, he throws I said, it well, yeah. I said, well, bitch, well, I can't go. I mean, I mean, it's already out there. <laughs> <laughs> so here it is. But does it make? Do you feel like you just always maybe were this? Uh, yeah, no, over, and absolutely you no, and 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 that and that's what the gag of it all was. I think really my my family's because before. When I realized that I was going into production for this show, I called all of my family and was like, listen, I am queer. I'm going on this queer ass show. I just want to let y'all know that this is happening. You so, chatted it or in front No, of no, it? I called everyone because I was in New York training. Right. You go before we got done. I said, oh, I'm calling every, like my grandma, my mama, my aunties, everyone. Because I was just like, listen, there's going to be shit when I go into these art- like these interviews where they're going to be asking me about my life and mm-hmm. I'm going to be very transparent with them. Not not disrespecting y'all, but just disrespecting people that disrespected me. And Ooh. Not, and right. not, yeah, because like I think what it is is like your your trauma is not your responsibility, your healing is. And I think that for me to be as visible as I am being Damon on like a young a queer teenager and then also in season when we talk about queer love and black queer love and you know this this very naive very innocent boy going into this world that is about is all six inches off the ground and everybody is yep. facilitating hurt so it's like when he goes in there not knowing anything there's a lot of people in the Midwest and from fucking Allentown, Pennsylvania and from Miami and from you know Oregon and Wisconsin that have those space like have those those experiences, those experiences mm-hmm. and don't really get to see themselves seen like there's radicalization and like normalcy and I feel like Damon is a normal as character that was just in an extraordinary circumstance and then what how he how his dreams and how his circumstances thrust him into becoming who he is and also recycling hurt like all of that so that's a lot of from, from to be completely honest a lot of um, marginalized people black Latin you know, um, that was what I really liked about it. Yeah, like that. That's a lot of people's. I think we d- space. Ex- exclude Latinos a lot, and and I've been trying more on my show to like. Oh, I love every Latinos. Time it comes, huh? I love them. Like, well, you like, honey, you definitely let me know. <laughs> yeah, like you know, I don't really no, do chorizo, ex, ex, but he was like, my ex is in Mexico City, and honey, yeah, girl, no, because I was, I was gonna, I was gonna follow you there just to burn his house, no shame, <laughs> but you know, like I'm that crazy, that I crazy cannot. one. I cannot. Is that what Pisces do? Oh. Because I just saw I, I saw some video on Twitter with two girls like putting gasoline all over Girl, the boyfriend's car. And let I was me just, tell I'm you, not that crazy. Video I'm same. not that crazy. I'll do it. I just I, won't yeah, tape I it. Yeah, I will not tape it. <laughs> but you'll do it. Yes, I will do it. <laughs> I'll be like, but bitch, like, you are no, it was, really no, tripping. Like, the I'll same come. the same nigga that I was talking about that was a production manager. I think he was dating somebody, and it was like a love triangle situation that was going on mm. with me, boy, boy, and. 
He wouldn't answer my phone call, text. He would like, you know, he was being that petty Pisces because he was also Pisces. So you pulling up? Yeah. So I pulled up, <gasps> girl. I to Mexico. You pulled up? No, 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 no. This is the American. Oh, boyfriend. this is when y'all were local. Yeah, okay. this local. This local boyfriend. Mexico is. I will get on a plane. <laughs> I haven't been. You know, I've not been to Mexico since we broke up. Like that's three years ago. Oh wow! Yeah, that was my first time being back, and I started crying on the plane while I was there. I see you were triggered. Yeah, I was so triggered. Because I barely brought it up. I was like, you know, oh, yeah, going I'm to Mexico. Always... I, I, I know all about it. <laughs> <laughs> no, but um, girl, I, I climbed over that damn fence because and I you like, climbing fences, climbing and pulling fences. Up. I got cuts on my hands from like the fence. Like, <laughs> you know why though? Because good dick is a prison. Yeah, and only you can let yourself yeah, out. Child, mm. this is why I'm single because dating is the ghetto. And it is I'll the pass, ghetto. I'll pass. <laughs> <Ra-da-da-da>. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, that's the clip. 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 Woo! That's the clip. All right. Well, I want to like. Do you have any more questions? Because we, we don't. Know. We don't have a home mail. I want to. Um, I found one, but it's just as long as I the want one. Want you to plug your <laughs> shit, and I also want you because obviously pose is so huge. Plug anything that you feel like is in your lane, but isn't getting recognized, whether oh. it be a book, an artist. Oh yeah. But you first. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, Instagram is Ryan Jamal Swain. Jamal is spelled with two A's behind the M. It sure is. R Y A. Okay, I, girl. I, no, 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 no. And it, does, you know, it pops I, up. I, too. It pops up. But you just put Ryan J and it'll just pop up. Or go go. Humble flex. Huh? Ooh, with the blue humble. check. That's that's like, <laughs> we not in the ghetto. Okay, we're in the burbs. We're in the burbs. We're in the burbs. We're in the burbs. And then Twitter, Ryan Jamal, and. Um, also, I'm getting uh, there on TV One on MLK Day 1 2020. I'm being honored uh, at the Urban One Honors. Oh my God. On TV Congratulations. One. Yeah, we filmed it December 5th. So I'm getting honored next to Jamie Foxx, Sylvia Roan, Chance the Rapper, Missy Elliott. Hello. And then it's what? myself. And then Billy Porter is Do presenting me with my Do you hear the award. list that you are, yeah, the no, company you're a part of? It was, no, it was crazy of? to me. Girl, I was sitting in that day when we were filming it. I was sitting there like, Jamie I'm looking Fox, at their Missy. montages <laughs> and I'm just like, what the hell shit, am I? Five they, 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 better, they better be filming me five seconds. No, for real though. I was, just, I was sitting on the front row in the middle with the with the loudest outfit. Oh my Shout God. out to Dapper Dan because it was a custom. I can't wait for y'all to see it. I can't wait for the post. I can't wait to see you yeah. post it. But I was just sitting there like. But you know I'm what's amazing about that too? It's just age. It's like when I'm this No, young, that's what I mean. And in my speech, which was lit, I was just like, I, w- I did a hoo flip. Ooh, like 22 inches. <laughs> um, But, you know, it was a call to duty, like a promise. Like, you know, yeah. because Kathy Hughes was I don't want to go into the history of her but like as as women on radio you know what I mean in podcasts she was very much influ- Howard University was influential in her space nobody wanted to give her any loan to start her Radio 1 tycoon right. and there was this one man that gave her a million dollar loan and then it just, just soared so now oh, wow. this Urban One Honors is actually celebrating 40 years for Radio 1 as well and she's one of the co-hosts with Chris Chris Tucker oh Chris wow Tucker, yeah you was in a room. No, honey. I was in a room. Wale was like, Ryan, that what the f- that that damn Dapper Dan shit is like. That's the latest shit that I never seen. I, <laughs> what I, date does it come? Like, I want to see this outfit. Um, Monday, Monday. Yeah, well, Monday. Martin Luther King Day. Yeah, Martin Luther King. Okay. So definitely check that out. But people that I want to shout out. Um, I mean, she's getting buzzed. This is my friend. Love you, Snow. Snow Allegra. Oh yeah. She's popping. I'm. Uh, I missed her concert. Yeah, I missed her. Yeah. I missed her I concert too. And we were we're my, in the same. Yeah, my cousin Trevor Jackson. He's you know just won the BT Certified Artist Award. And ladies, he fine. I don't know if he's single, yeah, but yeah, no, he's he's, he's yeah he's he he's, he's single. I think he's still here too. To impress, is so y'all he, might see him on the street. Is he really? Y'all might see him is on the street. Is he really? <laughs> um, yeah. Well, we're we're gonna go to Dumbo uh-huh. House after this if you want to invite him for Work. drinks. Work, come on, Dumbo. You know, I mean, come on, let's, let's go. go. Is that nigga? Is yes, that, well, you yeah. don't know. That's my cousin. I ain't know him by name. I knew him by I knew him by name. That was him. That was the one that was on the floor. No, wait, who was on the floor helping me? You no, your 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 man. Yo, and that then Trev was, was helping me. I knew him by name. Oh, you know, you let did. him know I knew him by name. And that was the one. Oh, I'm just saying. Let me stop. Girl, are you? Trev, you should you, you, you should see them in this thing right now. Oh, that's him. Uh, yeah, yeah, so that's, that's him. Oof. Very he look like he can sing. Oh, no. I hate it. Oh my god. You, okay. Don't anyway. he look? My god. I'm safety. Oh. And then daily, daily. I, you know, daily is a good friend of mine. The light skin. I mean, not, not the white skin with the curly red hair. The one that sing alone together, Marsha Ambrosius. Oh. That guy. I gotta check it out. You know, I don't know who you're talking about. We'll check it out. But, um, we oh, yeah. us, your friends who were just in essence. And I just wanna say, I really thought me and Mandy, so we went in October, and that no, shit it ain't wasn't come. that long ago. Yeah, it was. I looked at the date of the picture. So it we, was November. 
It was October. It said 1021 on one of the pictures. What? Did it? Because Christopher came for Halloween. He was with us. So hold on, bitch. I thought like oh, they forget. They, I thought was they were like these bitches too problematic. We ain't gonna put them up. Yeah. So I wrote, we, we we took we we did the the article for and, and so the long. photos a few months ago. Fact. And it just came out. Oh, so I when the new that. year started, I said maybe she was like, you know what, these bitches huh, talk yeah. way too much. Yeah. Shit. Yeah. And yeah. I I do a lot of accent and, and like saying. So I thought maybe she think I know for the people. Pero. Oh, pero. Oh. Yeah. You know. Yeah. We so, were there. We were there. So check out the S song. <laughs> <laughs> we are. We are on. I on, hate. On, on, <laughs> We're on essence.com. What other accent you want? God uh, damn it. Okay. And if you guys support us, it, it does mean a lot because um, we are on the digital version yeah, as of shout now. Out to We're these, trying to get into the print version. These fine-ass women in you here. Know, ew, yeah, ew, you know, ew. These they feminine of center. Oh, you know, just put it up. We're working it. So, yes, ew. we are. Oh, y'all look good. Thank you. Word. I had to bake here. You know what's here. crazy? Word, when, we, when we sent each other the outfits, we're like, oh, wow, these don't match. What no, this. but I love but it. But they went well. No, they went well. We were supposed to do... You oh, said beautiful. plaid, or I think we planned on plaid. Shout and out then to horrible she, she decisions. Look at me with my whole ass harness. I love it, but I love it. Actually, I need to, I need to go to a, I need to go to a sex shop because I'm thinking about getting to, toys. My co that was one of my, my co co star told me today, or my pattern. Shout out to the pattern app. I told you to, to get in. Sex toy. Yeah, they told. What is new, this? Some they horoscope said, shit. They said save a new toy. They, say, they said invest in a new toy today, and they already said. Oh, oh. speaking of, <laughs> and they're I, not talking about Brooks. So they, they said find a new toy. Well, I want to shout out. We may have it in the studio. I need to look. Um, I want to actually give a huge shout out to one of our previous guests, um, King Noir. He is selling dick molds, and it's huge. Oh, word. Um, is it he, his? Sent, he sent both of us. Let's see it. Yeah. Well, yeah, I don't know if it's here. I gotta look. It might not be here. Yeah, pull that dick out. I don't know if it's here. <laughs> I ain't looked to see if we got it yet, but it should have been sitting that's here. Fab. Um, but oh, I want to give a fab. shout out to him. No dicks in a box. Um, and then who else do I want to give a shout out to? Oh, just because I've been jamming it all week. Um, shout out to the number one um, hip hop album, and it's number one for the first time in like 15 years. Is Rap on Friday? Roddy Rich, Rich. Baby. come on! Yes, sir. I just saw it. It just came up on my phone. Yeah. It's just like so ghetto and fun. It's, I know, oh but also God. just the whole album. What do you think is the first rap really album good. in 15 years? Yeah, yeah, he got the. It's the number one. Hold on. Finish I think up. he had both the first. He had like the number one rap album and the number one single Song, single at the, same, at the same, time. same time in 15 years. In 15 years, seriously? Yeah. Yeah. Kanye, Drake, Jay Z. No one's done this oh, in 15 about, years. That's crazy. Over 40 years of hip hop, and no. Roddy Rich returns to number one on Billboard. Yeah, he he became. The first viral number one. That song on, makes me want to like throw my ass in a circle, but it doesn't work that way. Like my twerk doesn't like circuit. Like yeah, I have, I have, I have to work on my twerk. I have to work on my. I have to work on mine because um, you know, I feel like I'll have to call on it one day. But I mean, you're dancing. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know. But your dancing skills are up there. Yeah, though they're lit. But um, I just I have can't to... even listen to. Uh, <laughs> I want to dance, the right? Uh, Whitney Houston. Yeah, oh, no. Yeah. Every time, every time that I, <laughs> every time that I hear it, I I start sweating because I remember the whole it? day. Yeah, n- no. So, shout out to Ryan Heffington, who I don't know if y'all watch all the Sia videos, like the Chandelier, Elastigirl, like yeah. all of those. Some of them, yeah. He he did the choreography for all of those. Oh wow! So Ryan Murphy was like, "We want something like that." It but felt then, like, but it, then, very but real. then he was just like, um, "We don't want it." too polished because he needs somewhere to go you know he needs to be like a street dancer that turned into like a lit ass I love how you got nervous like you weren't about to kill it yeah no, I... <laughs> alright anyway sorry now let's see we're doing too much too, mu- too um, much so oh, yeah, we're gonna get your cousin right um, yeah your cousin, oh, yes. your cousin's gonna come say hi um, <laughs> no but I do wanna thank you for coming on guys Probably I really hope here. you um, enjoyed thank this you show and me. I wanna say we had so much th- good energy this was it was good, good. I, like I this. felt it and I ain't even drunk for they gonna fill it the speaker right I hope that you guys enjoyed this episode to all of our old listeners our new listeners um we hope that you guys continue to listen to us. I do also want to shout out to all of you who continue to watch us on YouTube. I do want to let y'all know real quick. I'm going to drop it. Drum roll, please. As you guys know, we will be this Wednesday in Chicago. Ew. Get your motherfucking tickets, Chicago. We are going to be at the Chicago Improv. Bring them some um, Heralds you know, and some Garrett. All of it. Bring the chicken, bitch. Ooh. Bring the yes, chicken. Yeah, the oh, Heralds let, let me finish the dates before we... Okay. Then, 
Friday is <laughs> sold out. We at Sony Hall, New York. But for y'all who rock with us so hard in New York, we have a second show. So get your tickets now for Saturday, January the 25th. We are going to be at Sony Hall. If Come you want to throw us. us an after party, by the way, in any of these cities Mandy's going to name, including New York, okay? Just because the show's on the 24th doesn't mean the people from the 25th can't come. Hit us up if you have a spot. If you want to pay us because we're popping. Okay, keep going. Okay, so we are hitting up the state that is the biggest where everything is known to be big and oversized, including dicks. Texas. We are going to be in Dallas, which can, can I just pause real quick? A dick star Dallas, there. I fuck with y'all. Dallas I probably. I love, I love, t- I love our, Dallas too. Our got Dallas got tickets club. right now. Oh, you been can I just tell y'all it's over double Houston. So Houston, I need y'all to show up on the 23rd. So Dallas, shout out. We'll see you guys on the 20th. We'll see Houston on the 23rd. And then guys, tickets are dropping this week. So I want to go ahead and let you guys know the dates for the cities y'all been motherfucking asking for. Charlotte, y'all don't have to Wednesday. drive to Atlanta no more. Wednesday, March 4th, <laughs> we will be in Charlotte, North Carolina at the Comedy Zone. Saturday, March 7th, we are going back home to motherfucking 407 Chopper City, Orlando, Florida at the Orlando Improv. That will be a matinee show, guys. Ooh, ooh, ooh. So pull up. That will be a midday show. Friday, March 20th, Atlanta, Georgia. Georgia. Okay? Bring them peaches, bitch. Yeah, yeah we want them asses. We will be at Center Stage in Atlanta on Friday, March 20th. And the candy Saturday, candy. March 21st. <laughs> okay. And I do want to announce this, but it's possible to change. We are working right now. But Saturday, March 21st, Nolans, baby, at the House of oh, Blues. Fact. So come, turn up, all that shit. Also, the show that's kind of hurting my feelings, but I fuck with y'all so hard. Mm. I might not be able to do Dreamville because of this. Toronto. We are going to San Francisco. Oh, oh shit, I skipped Toronto. Come on, San Francisco. March 27th. Friday, March 27th, Toronto, California. Now, Toronto, Toronto California. We literally yeah. couldn't find a fucking venue <laughs> that could hold everybody. So we're going back to the same one that sold Trinity out very College. quickly. So please get your tickets. We cannot do a second show for that one. We Every single venue in every city, we've been trying to grow and doing larger audiences, but Toronto, we could not. It's so very hard for shit. that one. Um, and then here we go. We are coming to the Bay. Bay Bay. San Francisco. California. You know we where are we're coming our- to the Bay? This is no bullshit. Sharon has hosted our LA show. That nigga got up there and said, where y'all from? And then when they all said the Bay, he said, damn, them bitches gotta go. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so I Sunday, Sunday, April 5th, we are going to be at Brava in San Francisco. Thursday, April the 9th, we will be in LA at the Regent. And then I want to go ahead and let y'all know, we will have our Mocha Fest live show on Saturday, May 23rd. If you guys um, have not yet Get your tickets at mochafest.com. Use promo code HORRIBLE to save $50 off. I think there are only rooms left at Hedonism Resort, um, but you can also buy the day pass. So with your day pass or party pass for the weekend, you will have access to the live show. We are also still working on our Vegas show, so hold tight, Vegas. We'll let you know where we can find. Other than that, enjoy this clip for Patreon. Become a member. Bye. 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 If you were able to live to the age of 90 and mm-hmm. retained either the mind of a 30 year old for the last 60 years of your life, the mind or body, which would you want? If you're 90 years old, you want the mind or the body of a 30 year old? The body. Can you imagine how you'll sound? Bitch. You fine as fuck. Like, I don't care. Like, even when I was like in my, in my early twenties, I always had an old soul. Niggas thought I was older all the time. I think it's not. I'm gonna pick the same. I'm my body, nigga. I'll be fucking at 90 still. Seven. Do you have a secret hunch about how you'll die? I don't think about that. I think I'm gonna die on an airplane. I do not think about. Um, it's so weird because honestly, I I have little flashes, but it's weird because when I'm in a car, when I'm with somebody, like I won't. To me, honestly, it's why I don't. I I'll hop out of my friends' cars. Do you cars. believe that you're? Day, death date is like already written. No, I, I don't. You, I don't think about that. And I, I honestly want to get off this conversation. Okay. Well, I, don't, I think I'm gonna die doing something adventurous. Like I think the the scariest way for me to die, in my opinion, would be like drowning. I'm terrified of that. I, it almost happened to me once. There was like someone I was playing that chicken game. Whatever. What's it called? When you're on someone's shoulders, isn't it chicken? chicken? Oh, well, she didn't realize that I was so deep under and I couldn't get up. And then her legs were wrapping around my neck. And I remember that feeling of almost passing out and drowning. And I would never want that to happen. But I do think when I die, I don't think about it's this. gonna be like bungee. Jumping. Go to the next question. This is real. Number eight. No. Nah. Three things you and your partner appear to have in common. So, you can answer this. I have me and you. 
This is. I was about to say, bitch, I ain't got this no partner. This is thirty six questions to love each other. That's oh, how we're playing it. Um, oof, what do we have in common? I ain't gonna lie. People listen to us, and I think now that we're three years in, they realize we don't have much in common. Outside of okay, we both love to travel. We both love to suck dick, and we we both get our hair done with weave. Wait. We both love to travel. We both love we both love our friends a lot. We love we love our friends. We both like ethnic foods. I was gonna say we both like bougie things, but I you like do. ratchet shit. But you're I like bougie shit. You're wearing a Lewis Vitten um and, purse across oh, the neck. And you see I got a Burberry jacket, but this is just now like things that I couldn't afford. Um and I also used to so the niggas that I've when I talk about sugar daddies and stuff like that, all of the men that I've dealt with are those that won't buy me. They would never, they would never buy me tangible things. They would buy me things for school. They would pay for my bills. They would do things for my livelihood, but they're, they're not materialistic niggas. So now that, you know, they know I really don't need that money that way. If I do ask for something, it's like, oh, I want this. Right. And they're okay. Like, I'm waiting on these YSL shoes right now. So it's... With but the also, YSL I can, part? Yes. The that, pump. That's my Valentine's list. And that's literally like, what I'm getting. That- well, it, it's crazy because... So they have a boot version, an open toe version, right, and a pump one, version. The, so the boots are $1,700. The, and the other two are $9.95. So I was like, the boot is seasonal. Open toe is also seasonal because we live. I said the pump I could wear year round. I would get I more use I can't out of a pump. Pumps well. Have you walked in those shoes, by the way? Um, They're hard. Yeah, but see, even my um, but I'll rock it. even even my Louis Vuitton like um, so combat boots they said are uncomfortable. I, not I for asked me. for those, and yeah, he those was are, like listen. That's what I want. I know that you like shit like this, but that's kind of tacky. I was like, it's not tacky. He's like, listen, it's, it's not. too over the top. He's like, I don't care. No, it's not. Then and you could dress it down, but you could wear that I, with cargo pants. I was like, I don't know why you feel like it's too much. He was like, I think it's too showy. He was like, I'll get you some wild SL shit, but it's not going to be all over it. And I'm like, then just buy me Steve Madden. I'm I'm not going to lie. Like, I'm one of those that didn't grow up with money. I don't have family members that have money. And to me, I don't believe in spending so much money on something. So I was talking to my homeboy about it. And I was like, you know, if I'm going to buy some, the monogram is going to be on it because they're going to know. If right. it costs $1,200, they're going to know because they're going to see it. I, I don't want just a leather, a I, black leather I, something. I felt like the no. YSL like heel was tasteful and not that much. Yeah. And he's like, no. He was like, real niggas know when you have a certain kind of thing. I'm like, well, I don't know. I don't know bitches that walk down the street with, well, actually, the YSL does have the very round front with a certain kind of thing. But anyway. Nah. Bro. Okay. Nine is for what in your life do you feel most grateful? Ten, if you could change anything about the raise, your raise, what would it be? Eleven. Tell, take four minutes and tell your partner your life story in as much detail as possible. I think that's a good one too. Um, if you could wake up tomorrow morning having gained one quality or ability, what would it be? Can I get into my side fake? Yeah. Oh, so I would want to be able to teleport anywhere in the world. Wow, mine was totally different. Mine was. I'm thinking of magical powers. I well, like, what what abilities are you talking about? I was gonna say I would want like one quality. I would want like, I would want to be like super strong. Like, I'm trying really hard to like build strength. Like, that's something that's so important to me. Like, being able to lift myself up, doing certain shit like that, and I feel like a failure every time. And so, like, my IT band's been fucked up. I haven't been able to work out, so it's all upper body. I'm gaining weight. That's funny, cause bitch, I can't do pull ups for shit. Like, my upper it's body hard. strength sucks, but my lower body, these thighs strong. My lower baby. Body. Most people are. I can squat and do well, mad maybe, shit with my women, lower body. Yeah, but, but that's how I like. I have a lot of lower body shit. strength. Um, except I still ain't riding 13. Dick. If a crystal ball could tell you the truth about yourself, your life, the future, what would you want to know? Yeah, ho. Yeah, ho.